Here's the wet result of my split cut straight pour using ocean colors. Uh, the two, uh, two of the metallics, the um, mysterious color and the gold have both taken over a little bit, but uh, when I started stretching it out, I found the other turquoises and the white. So I really worked to stretch those out. I lost some of the wispy little lines, but um, on a three foot by four foot canvas. I think I did pretty good <laughs> doing this on the floor and everything. So let me take you in for some close-ups. I did manage to keep some of that beautiful base coat color too. And uh, these outer edges with the, the white and the gold and the turquoise are beautiful. And you can see that gold is really gonna sparkle. And there's some really great transparencies happening in here. That mysterious, can you see the, the layering of that? If I can lay on this side here. Oh, actually it's better from up here. There's so much subtle detail in there, almost like water ripples. It's so pretty. I love that. I love this corner over here with the uh, the turquoise bleeding out into the base coat. It's really nice. Try not to step on my painting mate. Oh, look at that, I grazed the side. Fortunately, that's just base coat and I can fix that easy. <laughs> Oops, I'm a klutz. All of these beautiful lines in here, kind of random patterns, but all very flowing, reminiscent of water. So nice. I'm glad I managed to find that white because when I first poured, I was really afraid that I was going to not see any white and I needed that to provide some contrast with the darker colors. Oh, but look at that mysterious in there, the way it's um, layered, that is so cool. It's really nice with the gold too. I'm so excited to see how this dries. I 
can't fit, pick a favorite part. <laughs> I think I like it best in this orientation. I like the motion of this coming up this way and this coming down. I personally, I always like darker on the bottom and brighter on the top on an orientation. Um, so move around all my stuff here. This is the way you are seeing it. That's not bad. Yep, no, I definitely prefer it the other way. <laughs> my messy studio. So there you go. This is my collaboration pour with Mina Villegas. Can't wait to see what she does. I hear she's attempting a wing pour on a large canvas. So I'm excited to see that. Um, thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned for dry results. So here's the dry result of my split cup straight pour that I'm doing with a collaboration with my friend Mina Villegas. Isn't it glorious? I love this so much. My um, consistency was a little thin, so um, I think next time I will thicken that up a bit. But I'm super happy with how this came out. Um, because it was a, a thinner consistency than the technique actually should have been. Um, I didn't keep those feathery little lines, but I'm not mad about it at all. This is beautiful. I love this. I wish I could take it outside to show you the sparkle of all of that gold, but maybe if I do it like this, you can see. Can we get a little closer? Maybe it'll help. Look at that. And these areas where the um, the mysterious, the, uh, the metallic flakes leave these really cool textures in the darker areas is just gorgeous. Focus in there, buddy. There we go. And I love the light that this white gives up here in that lighter turquoise color. So beautiful. I'm really happy with this. I hope you like it too. Uh, come paint with me at the Fluid Art Experience next month uh, in Dallas, November 17th to the 19th. Mina Villegas will also be teaching classes, and um, I will put the link to the website so you can get tickets in the description below, and, as well as a full tutorial on how I did this. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more, and come back and see me sometime.